An investigative TV documentary in the UK claims that a British aid company is inadvertently funding jihadists in Syria. Adam Smith International, which aims at improving living conditions in third world countries, is accused of letting its funding end up in the hands of terrorists. Well, let's get more details now. We're joined by our correspondent, Polly Boyker. She's outside Adam Smith International's headquarters. Hi there, Polly. Uh, what exactly is this organization being accused of here? Well, look, up until last night, the British government had a scheme whereby it provided funding towards policing and community services in opposition-held areas of Syria, um, areas of Syria that the government doesn't control. And this project was about funding the so-called Free Syrian Police Force. And uh, it was implemented by this company, Adam Smith International. We're outside the headquarters here in London. Uh, Adam Smith International is a think tank, a lobbying group, and it promotes democratic values around the world. It effectively worked as an intermediary. So its job was to take the government's money and hand it to the right people in Syria. But given the chaos nature of civil war and perhaps the makeup of the Syrian opposition, uh, the BBC Panorama is now alleging that British taxpayers' money may have ended up in the hands of extremists as a result of this British government scheme. Uh, according to documents seen by the investigation, uh, police in the Aleppo province province were forced to hand over cash to an extremist group that was in control of the area there. It also claims that the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda, Jabhat al-Nusra, had hand-picked uh, police officers for two of these uh, free Syrian police stations in Idlib province. And there are allegations that there were dead and fictitious people on the force's payroll. Now, the Foreign Office has confirmed that funding for this scheme has now been suspended. Take a listen to what it had to say. We take any allegations of cooperation with terrorist groups and of human rights abuses extremely seriously, and the Foreign Office has suspended this program while we investigate these allegations. It's important to note that these allegations have already caused a bit of a row here in the UK. Adam Smith International have called the claims about their work entirely untrue and misleading. The company says that it refutes them and that it will pursue every legal avenue in order to defend the reputation of the project and the company itself. Of course, the topic of British foreign aid here is one that's highly controversial. There's a lot of public debate about it. That's taxpayers' money that's sent abroad to help other countries, £13 billion a year to be precise. And many here say that the government should be spending uh, some of that money instead on things like the public health service and on education. So allegations that some of the government's money may have ended up in the hands of extremists is only going to fuel that argument. Yeah, of course, and it wouldn't be the first time in Europe that there have been claims that aid or welfare money's ended up in the wrong hands somewhere down the line. Uh, that programme on the BBC later. For now, though, Polly Boyker in London, thanks very much for that.